Julian Tam knocking out was the main event. Awesome match. Tam won the title with the old Scott Steiner screwdriver. Dropped her on her noggin. And man, they beat the absolute stuffing out of each other in this match. Both uh, both real and fake. We had another loud clunking headbutt. They were just brutalizing each other in this match. And, uh, you know, I'll talk more about this on the Tom show. But uh, there were there were two things on the show. You know, sometimes you watch wrestling and you decide, well, and this is not just about stardom. It's about wrestling in general. I just watched the show last night, so it comes to my attention. It's like... Uh, there's just things that they it just have been done forever, so that's the way it's done. But when you really think about it, it's like it's really stupid. And one of them is that you can't punch somebody with a closed fist. <laughs> they're doing this match, and they're just absolutely brutalizing each other. And Julia punches her with a closed fist, and the ref gives her a warning twice. And I'm like, dude, you literally, like, I swear to God, I'm not even making this up. The spot that immediately followed the warning for a closed fist was a V-trigger knee right to the face. It's like, in this weird world of pro wrestling, you can take an exposed knee and V-trigger. It's like the Karate Kid crane kick, the most devastating move in all of martial arts. You can hit somebody in the face with your knee as hard as you can, running and jumping. Well, that's okay. But do not close your fist and punch them. That's grounds for disqualification. Well, Brian, it's because we used to have rules, and if you were consistent with rules, you would know that there is no punch. That headbutt, that's illegal, too. And the same thing with the point of the elbow and the knee. In in some places, everyone differed a little bit, because like the V-trigger, it's the front of your knee coming at you, hitting you in the front, not with the point. They should actually care about those things more because it did stand out you weren't the only one because it stood out to me too that we were having all of these clunking headbutts throughout the show that you know have now become a part of stardom which i wish it would just go away but they were calling out the fist and they did make a point of that which the crowd to their credit did respond to you know so they got what they wanted out of that spot but it is kind of ridiculous you're right it's like those 12 six elbows in mma you can elbow yeah. you can elbow a man in any position you'd like, including swipe. including eleven to five, or one to seven. You can swipe them. But man, you go down twelve to six. Yeah, and that one, you know, if you come across like that, you're still gonna bust somebody open in the same way. So yeah, it's just that was something that fighters really fought over when those rules first went into effect. DJ, do you mean that closed fist should not be illegal in wrestling, or they should be illegal in wrestling? Hey, you can make case as to the, why they shouldn't, or that why they should be legal in wrestling now and should be dropped completely from canon or whatever you'd want to call it. Should, they should be illegal. Why should closed fists be illegal? They could do all these other crazy things. You could headbutt a person in the face with your head. Well, you and, shouldn't be able to do, do, do V that trigger either. and a. I mean, it is you know? wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Like there are European uppercuts. There are open hand show tape palm strikes. There's other things you can do. And again, it just really kind of depends on what your view of wrestling is now. You know what I mean? Because again, all of these basic rules that you have in place or so somebody can break them. Mike Semper Vivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. What kind of mustache did Vince McMahon have? Well, goddamn! You had questions about my mustache, you just had to ask! My God, Vince, is that you? Hell yeah, it's me. What are you doing to my chair, kid? Yeah, yeah no, listen, I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. I get a text. He's back, LOL. First, I was told he was snuck into the building. I started getting messages. Dude, he's got a mustache. You ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. And he also had jet black hair. <laughs> I got a sale to facilitate, so I'm out of here. Shave that thing. Oh my God. Wrestling Observer Live. I went to Rite Aid. Oh, no. And uh, they had, uh, I don't know, that. I think it was by L'Oreal or something like just, that. Just for men. This right. is apparently not to be used to color all of your hair black. Uh-huh. So I got home, and I just... I start 
running the water through my hair, and like I can't even get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hair like seven, eight times. Until it fell out? Finally, I was like, dude, I got to cut my hair off. This stuff is not coming out. <laughs> I thought I was so clever making fun of him and spoofing his mustache and dyeing my hair black and going in there looking like Vincent Price. And what happens in the end? I end up having to shave my head because of this guy. I think Vince watches this show every week. He goes into the archives. He watches the Retro Raw. He follows along with us. Okay. And he was watching this show, and he saw old Burt Reynolds. Man, he saw Ronnie Shear marking out for this guy, and he was like, that's the secret of mustache. And he went out and got a blonde with big boobs. I don't know about that one. Oh. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.